some of the things that I've really enjoyed about the community here at HST is uh, one, just after travel, getting together with uh, just a bunch of different people, going eating lunch, just talking about life, studies, just other things that going on. It's just a really welcoming time, just an encouraging time, uh, also a challenging time as, as we spur one another on to deeper thinking, deeper relationship with one another. Um, in addition to that, something else that's been something else that's been a huge blessing is just just the ability to play soccer. On Thursdays, there's a group of us we get together uh, about four o'clock and play for about an hour, hour and a half. Just good, intense fun. Um, it's just been a huge uplifting time. It's just drawn me closer together to the people we play with and uh, just the people we engage with, and uh, I enjoy doing life with them. I was a distance student student for eleven years, and so. My pilgrimages here um, were just a wonderfully rich experience. I always felt welcomed and, and appreciated and uh, very warmly received. Um, I learned what Southern hospitality really means uh, when I would come here. And then the relationships that I built through classes with people across the country and in Canada, um, a lot of those have been sustained through the years. So. Um, networking and, and the reception, I think, really stands out as far as I'm concerned for the HST community. Well, one of the things that I appreciate about our community here is, uh, in particular, the mission interest group. It's a group of people who are interested in mission work or are just supportive of that. We get together normally once a month during the semester, just talk and have a, a visiting missionary come in. It's just a good time to have a meal, share a meal together at the Hubbard's house. And, uh, it's, a, it's a good time of fellowship. We really enjoy people and interacting and common interests in that. And uh, recently, uh, kind of along the friendship and the community that's built here, we went on a, a, uh, a spiritual retreat with a few guys, and we went out to a, a state park and just had a day of, of retreat, getting away from intense studies and trying to you know, just connect with God and with each other. I really enjoyed that. One of the blessings about living on campus is um, some of us are here in the apartments and we need a little lawn and a little gardening. And so we've all put together kind of a community garden and we're growing potatoes and beans and corn, no, no corn, tomatoes, okra, several different things. And it was, it was really cool when they were breaking ground or trying to bring the tiller out and bust the sod up and to watch two or three guys riding the tiller <laughs> as it goes across. And, and then someone else is raking and pulling up the weeds and someone else is just knocking the rocks out. And it's nice to see people watering each other's things and weeding the garden and pinching bugs off. So it, it brings a sense of home back here that we're all working Another thing that I just really enjoy about this community is just the sharing life part together where uh, on the one hand you have just like yesterday someone announcing hey my child's being born and it's, it's a girl and we get to celebrate that uh, there's just lots of kids running around on campus and it, it almost seems like we're all related you, you go into someone's house just eating lunch and here comes our little two-year-old two and you become their buddy for the day just they're sitting in your lap and, and you get to enjoy not just the people you're studying with but their families as well but it's also a very welcoming and, and, and just community of love, just even when in times of loss. Um, just to think of some friends recently who on campus have lost loved ones and everyone surrounded them, even helped pay for their trip to, uh, to, to go out back home and take care of that. Uh, and, if, and they knew that they had a group here that loved and support them and care for them during this time of, of need and that their needs would be met. So it's just a great time of celebration. You get to be part of people's lives uh, in the good times of celebration, but, but also in the times of, of loss and, uh, and where that comfort is. I was just telling Frank a second ago, last night I got a text, and it said, can you drive me to Eads? Uh, my wife is gone, and I'm studying for a midterm, and I'm getting really, really, really sleepy. <laughs> so I get up about 11.30 to go down there and drive Steve to the all-night coffee shop, and there's John Cook down there handing his keys, going, yeah, bring it back with gas in it. And they took off. <laughs> so, so we all study together, and we all get each other to the coffee shop together. 